Hey everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to Today I Feel Like. Today, I'm gonna show you how you can add IP Vanish onto your ASUS router. So if you wanna add the VPN that you have directly onto the router, you can do that. So if you have something like an Apple TV or a Roku or Smart TV or something that doesn't have a VPN app to it, you can go ahead and add the VPN service directly onto your router so that those devices are protected as well. So let's jump into it. It's a very quick and easy process. And here we go. All right, so I have my computer here and that's because we're gonna need a way to log into our router. So you can use your computer or you can use a mobile device, but you need to make sure that you have access to your router. We're also gonna need to make sure that we have an IP Vanish account. So if you don't have one, go get one. I'm gonna leave a, a link in the video description so that you can go ahead and get signed up with some nice discounts in there. But let's go ahead now, head over to IP Vanish so that we can get the configuration files that we need, and then we'll head over and log into the router so that we can actually use those configuration files to put IP Vanish VPN service on the router. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is just go ahead and use this web address right here. This is www.dpbolvw.net forward slash click dash 920047 dash 14528644. I know it's a long, crazy web address, but it's gonna help you get some discounts on IP Vanish there. So we'll go ahead and get that um, get that opened up right there. Now, if you don't have an account, just go ahead and click subscribe so you can get subscribed. If you already have an account, just go ahead and uh, click where it says my account. Now, once you're logged in, what we wanna do is just go ahead over here to where it says server list. You're gonna see there's a couple of different tabs like account, billing, subscription, server list, and uh, SOX5 proxy. We wanna click where it says server list. And you'll see here, we're gonna have all these configuration files in different, in different formats. You can see where there's uh, stuff for like VPN software, um, LT, uh, L2TP XML and PPTP XML, but what we want is the open VPN files right there. So we're gonna go ahead and click where it says open VPN. And this is going to wanna to download a configuration zip file with all these different uh, configuration files. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and click on desktop and we're just gonna go ahead and create a new file or excuse me, a new folder. And we're just gonna call this IP vanish uh, config files and we'll go ahead and save this right into that, and save that zip file right into that config files uh, folder there. And now we're gonna go ahead and go over to the desktop and we're gonna go ahead and click that and we're gonna unzip that, uh, that zip file. And there we have it, we have a folder with all these different um, IP Vanish configuration files. And these are gonna be for, um, these are gonna be for all these different cities and countries. Now this looks like a lot, don't get freaked out and run away, it's gonna be okay. Um, you can see here that it's gonna be uh, in alphabetical order, it's gonna show the country and then it'll also show the city. And so there you can see all, each one of these uh, is a different server. So what I actually want is like something from the UK. So I'm just gonna scroll all the way down here and we'll take a look and we'll, until we get to the U's there. And there we go, we can see there's a whole bunch of uh, UK files in there, a bunch of UK servers from all over the all over the country there. So yeah, all right. Now we are going to need um, one last thing from this folder and that's gonna be the, uh, the .crt file. This is a certificate file that we're gonna need as well. So, all right, let's go ahead now and, uh, and get logged in to our router. And if you, if you don't have access to your router's username and password, or you forgot it or something, you're going to have to reset your router to default. Otherwise, you can just log into your router and, and get to right where I'm going to go. Now to get logged in, we're just gonna go ahead and type in router.asus.com and click on that. And you can see here that I am logged in and ready to go. And what I wanna do now is just scroll down here to where it says VPN, and we're gonna click on, click on the VPN tab. And right up here, you see where it says VPN server, VPN client, and instant guard. What we wanna do is click where it says VPN client. And now we're gonna go ahead and click where it says add profile. So we're gonna click on add profile. And over here again, you can see there's different tabs, the TTPP, uh, TPPTP, the L2TP, and OpenVPN. What we want, again, is OpenVPN, so we're gonna click that. 
And now we're gonna go ahead and we're going to uh, add a description and we're gonna use our username and password that we use for our account here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in a description and because I wanna go ahead and, and, uh, and use a, a server from say like London, I'm gonna call this IP Vanish London. And so there we have it, we have IP Vanish London in there. Now I wanna go ahead and put my username and password in there. Now, once I have my username and password, what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and choose the file, the, uh, the .ovpn uh, o file. So I'm gonna click where it says choose file. And now I'm gonna go ahead and navigate to the IPVanish config files folder that we created. And I'm gonna come in here to the folder that says configs. And I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to scroll down and find the UK, uh, the UK uh, folders, uh, UK files there. So I'm just gonna keep scrolling down till I get to the UK section here. And I'm just gonna find London. So there we go, we have London. And I'll just grab this one here, number uh, number five. And it looks like there's like 10 or something. Well, there's a lot of London. So anyways, I'll just grab number five right there. We'll click where it says open. And now we are ready to go. We can see where it says upload and it's right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and click upload. And now when I do, it's gonna start working. You're gonna say complete, but it says lack of security uh, certificate authority, lack of, of certificate authority. And that's where we're gonna add that .crt file. So we're gonna click right here where it says import a CA file or edit uh, the .ovpn file manually. I'm gonna click that right there. And now I'm gonna go ahead and choose to upload that file. So I'm just gonna click choose file and then back right in that config file, you can see there that is the, uh, the, the configure of the certificate file. So I'm just gonna click that and then I'll go ahead and choose open. And now I'm gonna choose upload. And once I upload that, you'll see right there, it changes over and now it just says complete. So we're good to go. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and click where it says okay to finish it up. And now we can see there that it's loaded up on there and to turn on the VPN on my router, all I have to do is right here where it says connection, just click where it says activate. And that's gonna start working and it's gonna take a few moments for it to go. You can see now it's gonna say deactivate because well, it's uh, it's on. And we can see right here where it says connection status, we have the little circle with the check mark meaning that, meaning that the uh, VPN is active on the network now. And that's it. All right, everyone, so there we have it. That's it. That is how you can add IP Vanish right there to your Asus router. It is relatively painless. It's uh, There's a few steps to it. Uh, the first time you do it, it may seem like it takes a little while, but once you've done it, it's very, very quick and easy to do, uh, to add anything additional to it. Or if for some reason you need to delete the VPN off there and reinstall it again later, because you already know how to do it where everything is, it's a much quicker process than doing it uh, the first time. And if you have a smartphone, you know, you can go ahead and add the Asus router app on your mobile phone, and then you can turn that VPN off and on directly from your mobile phone, which is very convenient. So yeah, anyways, I'm gonna leave a link to IP Vanish and uh, leave you a link to uh, the Asus router that I'm using so that you can check them both out and get the service set up and get a router that has a VPN capabilities if yours doesn't. And I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram. And I am Larry, what today I feel like. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace. <laughs>